Michael, from your perspective, what is the storyline for you of tonight's game? Yeah, obviously not a good start. Um, put ourselves behind the eight ball right away. Penalty, uh, go down 1-0. And against a team that, in a lot of ways, is just coming in to uh, slow the game down and, and be hard and physical and make the game as difficult as possible, um, you, know, you you make an already difficult game even even more difficult. And so, obviously, um, you know, less than ideal start. But to be fair, we we responded pretty well. The end of the first half was was good. Unlucky not to not to get back to one one, uh, and then you know, shoot ourselves in the foot to go down two zero. And at that point, uh, it's going to be real hard. Did you find that their tactics cynical at all? Did it seem like they were coming in harder than what's fair? I suppose. <sighs> Look, <laughs> you. Everybody gets a chance to play for ninety minutes. Um, <laughs> Everybody's free to go about it any way they want. Um, that was their way to go about it today. Our way to if, if we're good enough in what we want to do and, and sharp enough, then uh, I don't think we're talking about that. So, like I said, um, you, know, you get 90 minutes to, to try to step on the field and 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 be good and sharp and and go about the game in the way you want and at the end um, whoever is better able to impose themselves and their their will on the game typically uh, walks off the field with with a good result eight cards given out tonight do you think that that affected the tempo at all yeah it was a slow game you know um, stop and start and um, you know, in a lot of ways the game never really really found a rhythm but again, you know, when it, when it's 1-0, we certainly have uh, some good chances to get back to 1-1. And I think if you're able to do that, then then the game changes. How much does it help that you guys will have a quick turnaround with Montreal this weekend? It's always nice. It's always nice whenever whenever you you know you lose a game like this to be able to get back on the field as quickly as possible. So we're, we're no no doubt looking forward to, to Wednesday night. I find it hard to find space in midfield. Did it seem like they were kind of clogging the, the middle of the park to, to force things wide, to force things away from you and Seba? Um, yeah. The, the way they play means that there's numbers in the center of the field. Um, again, in our good moments, we were able to to, to play quickly, uh, to find little little spaces, um, you know, to play wide and then back in. And so. Um, Again, it's a hard game. You know that um, they're going to come in and, and try to do anything they can to, to be hard to play against, and they, they certainly did that. And how do you think the bye week affected you guys? <clears throat> I don't. I don't. Um, it's, a, it's a weird league with the schedule in terms of you can go through stretches where you play all sorts of games, and then you can go through a, a stretch where, like this past weekend, you have a bye week and, and a little bit of time to recover. And so, by now, everybody's used to it. What do you What do you expect for the game at Yankee Stadium in three weeks? Do you expect it to be testy after what kind of flared up there at the end? Every game is is testy. Um, you, know, you play against teams in your conference. Points are are valuable. You know, you get to this time of year, and everybody has, you know, everybody started to kind of find their way. And now you you look around the table, and it's it's clear now who who's fighting for who in terms of uh, positioning and points. And so, um, you know, anytime you play teams in your conference, you know the games are going to be uh, hard fought. If you look ahead to the game at Yankee Stadium, that's a that's a tight field to begin with. Um, and so, you know, we'll, the, the challenges of playing in, in a game like that on a field like that are, are certainly unique, but we'll be ready. Thank you, Michael.